Hello everyone, welcome to my second video about my Camino experiences. Um, it's another wet, windy, cold day here at Aldinga Beach in South Australia. So I'm going to talk about a couple of experiences on my 2019 Camino. Uh, firstly, I was walking up to O Sobrero. Um, started the day, I can't remember the name of the village, I should have looked it up I suppose, but I uh, started walking and it was light rain. And as I walked higher and higher and higher up the mountain, uh, the rain got heavier. Then it turned into hail, but not not bad hail like we, we get here where it just pelts down and it was hard. But it was definitely uh, icy and hail. And then as I got up and then the hail turned into gentle snowflakes. And yeah, it was it was a really cool experience from someone who grew up in a dry, a dry hot climate in South Australia. I, I always loved the snow. Um, and yeah, so I got up there, um, and I stopped at this little village where there was a bar and I was in no hurry, um, and I ended up spending an hour there, uh, drawing off some of my stuff and I'd been walking without gloves and I brought a cheap pair of gloves the day before and my hands, hands were absolutely freezing. So I spent an hour there, had a couple of coffees, uh, chocolate croissant and some cake and dried my stuff up and then continued to walk and as I left this little village then it really was really a, a path um, I'd left the the, the, the hard bitumen uh, footpath and that behind and the path was started off as like a small well country country dirt road track and ended up into just a little path um, I was a little bit concerned about my boots but as in slipping because a lot of the places where I was actually walking on rock and very hard ground so yeah but I uh, handled it well and obviously I had my hiking sticks which proved invaluable so for anyone who wants to trek uh, I highly recommend hiking sticks it, 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 because it takes the when used correctly it takes the pressure off your hips especially and your lower back so yeah highly recommend hiking sticks and they'll make it easier on your knees especially going downhill up, uphill I used them because it helped but it was more downhill that I could really take the pressure off my knees and my hips by using my sticks. Um, yeah, so I got to O Sobrero that night and yeah, it was heavy blanket of snow and it had gotten heavier and heavier and heavier as, as I got up there. Um, and even walking to the, the municipal albergue where I stayed that night, I was very cautious of, of walking. Um, yeah, there were still icy bits, but the snow was starting to create a nice little blanket on the ground. And I remember uh, walking in O Sobrero in 2016. I never stayed there that night. I'd walk straight through, um, stayed in a village further down the track. But I remember like seeing all the markers on the side of the road that that have depth. Like here in South Australia, and a lot of uh, in Australia, we have the the flood depth markers um, when you're driving through the creeks and river beds. Um, so I was intrigued by by actually having snow markers. There and then 2019, obviously, I got to experience the snow. Um, great experience. And the second part I want to talk about with with wild and, and woolly weather was when I was about 10 k's out of Santiago. There's a television station, um, and I remember it quite well from the first Camino. And and as I was walking by, I was walking under some trees, and the wind was howling like it was. The rain was coming in horizontal. That the wind was that strong. And next thing, I just felt this bang on the back of my head. And I've turned around and I'm looking like, you know, like someone's thrown something at me and hit me in the back of the head. And it was just a, like a nut that had, that had come off the tree. Um, yeah, so that was another cool experience. And and walked mo mostly into Santiago that day with, with uh, rain, high winds. Um, so again, good good weather gear is essential. The, uh, I remember the first year I did it, I'd, I'd started off um, beginning of September and they were having record heat that year. And I didn't have um, really any warm clothing because I didn't know in my inexperience um, that I was going to experience cold weather and would need warmer stuff. I had a light a light jacket uh, for rain, but um, nothing too heavy. Um, so, yeah, so I ended up the first one having to buy, it, buy a jacket because uh, it just got so cold, especially when you get to Galicia, uh, which is like the last county state um in in spain and it's always wet it's always wet and um cold so yeah great great experiences um and yeah 
yeah. I mean, I did have other rain and, and stuff, but yeah, walking in the snow was pretty cool. So I walked in the snow for two days. Um, and then, yeah, a lot of, lot of cold, wet weather uh, walking through Galicia. And because I left a month later than I'd done the previous year, so we started off as St. Jean Pierre de Port, where the weather was quite nice in the early parts, especially walking across the Meseta. Um, I got lucky actually with the Meseta. Um, I stayed two nights in Burgos, so I had a rest day, so I stayed in the municipal albergue, and then I paid for a, a private hostel, which was you know luxury to have a private private bed, my own shower, uh, not having to listen to anyone snore, and and the smell of some of the albergues when you might have ninety people in big rooms, massive rooms, was just rows and rows of double bunks. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. And yeah, well, I see I'm up to the six minute mark, so I'll leave it at that. And uh, I look forward to my next post. Again, if you have any questions, you can please contact me at soundofthecoolnet at gmail.com or from my personal Facebook page and my business page, Sound of the Kun, on Facebook. Much love and blessings.